On today's breaking news, we're gonna be talking about a bunch of sets that are coming in 2023, talking about Lego dots and how it's making an impact on Gen Z, and we'll answer some questions that may have been burning, such as why is the Hogwarts train red? But first, I want to talk about a really cool store, a Brick Monarch Shop. This website is designed for all those AFLs out there that are looking for some great t-shirts with classic logos, some home decor you can put on your walls, such as shields, and some other great iconic aspects from the LEGO history. You can head over to the link in our description for Brick Monarch Shop, and you can get a discount of 10% off using Back to Brick 10. That's Back to Brick 10, the number two. So head over there so you can get some really cool AFL swag. All right, now let's get to the breaking news. Lego. 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 Le breaking news. Breaking hey news. Hey, everybody. Welcome back breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs from around the world about their Lego designs, and we get down to the breaking news once a week to talk about all things Lego has been up to for the past week. Thank you all for checking in on the podcast. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to come listen to some cool Lego news. Not much admin this week. We are still working through our podcast, The Average Movie Goers, to launch that in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned. I will put the link in the description so you can go check it out and attend the movies with us and learn a little bit about some of these awesome movies you may have seen, and if not, you can learn a little bit about them. And if you haven't joined, The Brick Club is doing its second meeting this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you don't know, The Brick Club is like a book club, but with Lego sets instead. We have three sets this month. The first one is the Sanctum Sanctorum. The second is the Gift with Purchase Tree Hideout. And the third is a set that you haven't built yet and you decided to build this month. For me, it was the Mini Disney Castle. So come join, it's free, and the link is in the description for the Discord. And we'll be doing a video call so I'll get to see everybody and we can talk about these awesome sets. All right, let's get into the breaking news. Lego Dots has become an extremely popular theme, and especially with the Gen Z crowd. Not only that, they have a new spokesperson, the Anna Cathcart, which is a Canadian actress who played on To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is a Netflix series. I think it's a trilogy, actually. I don't actually know the actress myself. And she's actually doing a spin-off series called Exo Kitty. Uh, I, I don't know. But she's been working with Lego as a brand kind of consultant to help customize and make it more Gen Z related. Um, so she said in a tweet, I've partnered with the Lego group to help create three customized limited edition posters for the Lego dots. Ads you can enter for a chance to win, you dot you, hashtag no purchase necessary, ends on the 28th of this month. So you only get two days, uh, must be 13 years or older. I wonder if they're going to be really popular to get this. And a lot of people follow her on Instagram, Twitter, and so on and so forth. So maybe this will stir up some popularity and get some people out there buying more Lego dots. If you're a big fan of Ninjago and a big fan of the comic book series, you get the chance now to vote on the variety of cover that will be on the Volume 1 of Garmadon collection. And they've got one with a giant bear in the background. It looks like uh, some some game biker game kind of stuff. And then Garmadon with some fiery purple hands. I'll put the link in the description so you can go and vote. This vote is open until September 6th, and then they'll announce the winner on the 12th, and then you'll get a chance to get a copy of it. So if you're into voting in Ninjago and comics, all those things, you can go over to the link on the description so you can check it out. Avatar was a global sensation, and they're coming out with their second film, The Way of Water. So LEGO decided that they were going to do a theme. So this year they released, I believe it's four or five sets for Avatar, and it looks like there was going to be more for 2023. Looks like in January we're going to get a few sets, all priced at $25, $35, $80, and $100. Not sure what they're going to be, but I'm going to guess these ones are going to be more related to the way of water instead of the previous film. Um, so hopefully it's a good film and I'll want some of these sets. I do like one or two of the other ones just because of the cool piece counts. And uh, well, Avatar was a great movie, so I'm excited to have a set that uh, represents what I love about the movies. Great movies. That's why I'm doing a movie podcast. So we've already had Kylo Ren's ship before. Uh, it was a different ship than what we've seen in Episode Nine, which was called the Wit Thai Whisper. Um, and I I don't know which one I like more. The Thai Whisper was kind of like the advanced Tie Fighter from the old trilogy. 
I appreciate the design and you can play it in the Star Wars game. But if you go actually into the Lego Star Wars magazine, you can see that the Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker plus four sets has a limited edition little poly bag. This one is the Tie Whisper. And it's pretty basic, but it's got a nice design that represents exactly what it's supposed to be. I'd love to see if they'd make a full scale set, but they kind of skipped episode nine because not a lot of people, I don't think, bought the those sets. I know I didn't, but they came out with, a, I think, another Millennium Falcon because they do that for every movie. I'd like to see more Rogue One sets. Maybe we'll see that with the Andor sets uh, since they came out with two of them. Mm. But it's kind of weird. And actually, it was just the one because they came up with the uh, Vader versus Obi-Wan or Ben set. Um, and it's uh, that one's crap and just expensive. But I guess we'll see what comes out. I hope we get to see some other cool ships similar to this come out on, uh, on future Lego sets. Lego and Target continue in their relationship as they come out with more things. They did the entire clothing line and they've done some of the cool plush figures. So I know a lot of people like the space, classic space plush. And now if you're a Harry Potter fan, they're doing the same. They have five characters and for $20 each. So we've got Harry, Hermione, Hagrid, Dumbledore, and Voldemort. I don't know why people want Voldemort, but hey, whatever floats your boat. So these are just more plush minifigures, and who knows, maybe they'll come out with different ones too. This is just the Harry Potter one. Maybe we'll see some Star Wars ones. That would be really, really cool. All right, who wants some more discounted Lego sets? If you head over to Entertainment Earth, which there's a link in the description so you can head over there, and if you wanna buy something, then it helps and supports the channel. Hundreds of Lego sets are buy one, get one 30% off. And I mean, there's almost no limit. We've got a bunch of di different things. The Frozen Castle, the Technic McLaren, the Star Wars Luke Skywalker helmet, and just so many more. And I, I guess that it doesn't limit to anything you buy. So if you buy one, then the next one's 30% off. That's not a bad deal, especially if you need more than one set, which we all do. So you can head over to the link below and get this. Now, using this, you can also get free shipping to the U.S. over $40, $40 using the code SUNFREE22 at your checkout. And yeah, so this is another great idea to get some more discounts. Another series that will be released in 2023 to continue on as it has for many, many years, the Lego City series has also been leaked of the different sets that we're going to get. This is throughout all the way through January, it seems, and there's 24 sets. I'll just list a couple here. Stunt Truck and Fire Tire Challenge, the Police Academy, a Fire Boat, Electric Sports Car, the Off-Road Adventure, Gaming Tournament Truck, and many, many more. So if you're a big fan of the LEGO City series and something that you need to add into your LEGO City, there's a bunch of stuff, and it looks like it's going to be focused on, uh, uh, well, a lot of jumping in motorcycles and cars and all that. So this could be a fun addition to any city and making it a little bit more uh, exciting and some thrill stunts to it. The Lego Harry Potter train has had some controversy, being that it's larger than the standard track for a train set, and, uh, well, it's extremely large, so hard to display, and the color. It is a regular red, so it's a little bit brighter than you'd expect, and a lot of people are like, well, wait, why is it in this red color when it should be dark red? And Lego has made a statement that during uh, the discussions, the, the designers, they all talked about it, that... The color lies somewhere in between, but we think bright red was more visual display point, and for a toy point of view, it's much nicer color. They also said that our dark red in particular, it's used a lot together, has the tendency in some lights, and depending on the context of where it's placed, to read more as brown. So there was also some consideration in that it would have a train that would sometimes look too brown, or we would rather have a train that's red for sure, and in some contexts get darker, but of, uh, but of the lighting and so on. So that means that they had the right choice, I, I would say. I think I didn't really have an issue with it. I think it was just based on the lighting in the shot because Warner Brothers does have it as red and then it's also like a darker red just based on the lighting that they used. 
I um, I still think it's a great set. I know that the track pieces are a little bit wider, which is infuriating, but it's more so for display. It's kind of like the Titanic. You're not going to put that in the water, or try to fit on something. I don't really know. That was probably a very bad uh, association. But so, yeah, that makes sense. And uh, if you still don't like it, well, just don't get it. A pair of TikTokers decided, well, they like Lego, but a lot of kids like Lego, too. And that means that they should help out in any way they can to get kids Lego. So they made a huge donation to the children of Cincinnati's Ronald McDonald House. At a cost of $6,000, they wanted to give a bunch of people the chance to have Lego uh, and let these kids play with them. Uh, So there's Heather, and she teamed up with Russell Casavea, also known as Little Bricks Charity Guy. And they came together with $6,000 of the Legos and traveled in a van for 10 hours to get there and donate all of these to the 166 guest families at the Ronald McDonald House. That's a great way to continue to spread the creativity and imagination of those that are um, not really capable of buying those for themselves or through their families. So I think this is a very honorable cause. and, And if there are other Lego charities, you should seek them out and try to support as much as you can. Halloween is almost upon us, said every retail store in the United States. Lego is no exception, and as they always do around the holidays, they come out with their Lego-themed set. This year, it's a cat and mouse. The cat and mouse Halloween set has a mouse kind of popping out of the head of a a pumpkin with two smaller pumpkins and a black cat. All very cute, and I like how the mouse is coming out of the pumpkin with a hinged lid. You can get the set for $20, and using the link in the description, you can help support the channel. More LEGO 2023 sets. This time, it's Marvel. There's quite a few sets that are to be announced, and a couple that already have. So we have three expected for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We also have Hulkbuster, The Battle of Wakanda. The Avengers Quinjet is going to be the newest $100 set. I hope they do it in the same style that they did the um, Guardians ship because that was a beautiful set, not super expensive, and almost UCS style. Uh, at $100, though, I doubt it's probably going to be a play style. Maybe one day we'll get one that's $150 or $200 bucks since inflation to get something like that. But these are expected to come out between January and April, and so get ready for some more Marvel stuff, too. Lego isn't just for building Lego sets, it's also building some cool experimental, well, equipment. This one guy decided he wanted to make a Lego Vortex machine, so it has a ball in the middle of it that they want to spin to create a Vortex. And so there's a bunch of different iterations that he used, but he uses uh, these different motors, not the standard motors, to spin these balls in the middle of this contraption at high speeds to create a water vortex or water ring. I'll put the YouTube video in the description so you can check it out. It's by a YouTube creator by the name of Brick Technology, constructed all these, and the spheres are really, really cool. He's made a few of the machines to help show the different designs. I wish LEGO would create some of these cool things like this because it shows even more ingenuity and not just a gravel shovel thing or whatever in a dump truck. So we're celebrating the 90th anniversary of the LEGO group, but it seems that there's other anniversaries. The LEGO store at the Mall of America is celebrating its 30th anniversary. And for that, they're giving away free minifigure packs, a birthday cake build, goodie bags, and much, much more. So for the first 375 people to spend over $50 on uh, sets in-store each day on the September 3rd and September 4th, we'll receive a free 5007499 LEGO Anniversary minifigure pack. It's got uh, some really cool minifigures, most likely one that'll have the label of 30 on the um, shirt. And you can participate in the Brick Cake build, which is a really cool a yellow cake with some confetti coming out the top. There's photo ops and a bunch of other goodies, which is fun. You can go between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the 4th, and excuse me, on the 3rd, and 11 a.m. and to 7 p.m. on the 4th. So you can go check this out at Mall of America's Lego store. There's a guy by the name of James Brown, but he should go by the name of Q because he's done some amazing builds and gadgets in Lego form. He decided to make these really cool mini computer displays in a 2x2 slope similar to the old console or controller pads and have them represent the same styles so we've got a spinning cube, a radar, and even a tunnel style so 
what you could think of as the targeting computer from A New Hope. These are all super tiny displays and he brings them to life using like a fake radar scene, the scrolling text, as I said, the uh, Death Star Trench Run. Uh, it's powered by a 72 by 40 pixel OLED screen on a STM32 microcontroller with 48 megahertz ARM Cortex MO processor and 16 kilobyte K of flash. I don't know what any of that means, but it looks really, really cool having these tiny displays in there and just connecting them to the bricks that have electrical connections. It would be awesome if Lego did something like this because they are moving into more of the electronic style like they did with the lighthouse. So this would be a really fun way to have an interaction. Uh, and at such a small scale, it's super, super creative. And that's all the news we have this week. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate your time as well as just appreciating Lego is just such a fun thing. I'd love it if you all would join the Brick Club and come talk with us about the Lego sets for this month on Sunday at 12 p.m. And it'll be on our Discord, which the Discord link is in the description. So I would love to see you all there. I think it would be super fun to get to know all of you and see the community of Lego studs that have been listening to the podcast for so long. Make sure to have fun and keep building, and I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.